And as uh, Amanda mentioned, Judge John Roll was one of those victims. Judge Roll spent 20 years as a federal judge here in Arizona, beloved by his family, his friends, and his colleagues. But News 4 Tucson's Eric Bink tells us his legacy extends far beyond his work in the courtroom. His friends keep coming back to the word humility, describing Judge Roll as both humble and respected inside and out of his courtroom. Federal Judge Jennifer Zips knew her friend for two decades. She calls John Roll a mentor. Because of his values and the person that he was, he set a particular tone that um, inspired others to, to do the best that they could and to really fulfill the ideals of our American justice system. Roll was appointed to the federal bench in 1991 by George H.W. Bush. This courtroom downtown was in effect his office. He became chief judge of the U.S. District of Arizona in 2006. The federal courthouse in Yuma was named in his honor. A statue of Judge Roll serves as a permanent reminder of his life's work and dedication to the law. There are symbols of Judge Roll everywhere and including in most of the people's offices who work here because he had that kind of impact on people. Many people say they never wanted to disappoint him. They knew that he was prepared. They knew how serious he thought the work was that we were doing and people wanted to, to rise to that level of excellence. Humility, integrity and character. U.S. Marshal David Gonzalez first met Roll when he was a DPS trooper in Tucson. In 2009, after a ruling in a controversial case involving illegal immigrants and a Douglas rancher, Roll received dozens of death threats. He needed 24-hour protective detail. Deputy U.S. Marshals stayed with him for about a month, much to Roll's chagrin. Gonzalez says the judge believed it was terrible that the Marshals had to be away from their homes. But Roll took that time to get to know each one of them and asked about their families. Gonzalez won't soon forget the kindness his friend showed them in the middle of the night. They would tell me stories at like 2 in the morning. They would see a flashlight in his house coming, uh, coming out to the sidewalk, out to the street. And uh, he'd say, hey guys, uh, do you need to go to the bathroom? Uh, here's some coffee. He was checking up on them at 2 in the morning to make sure they were okay. John Roll's legacy will include nearly a quarter century as a distinguished jurist, but his friends say he was just as fine a person who always showed grace and who touched the lives of so many. He'd accomplished so many things, but you wouldn't know that if you asked him about himself. He would tell you about his family and his children and his grandchildren and going for donuts on, on Saturday. Um, he was very humble and he was infallibly polite. It's not the job really that you remember, it's the people that you worked with and the people that, that, uh, that uh, uh, you might have helped along the way. And he helped a lot of people along the way. We've got you covered from downtown. I'm Eric Fink, News 4 Tucson.